What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Wednesday afternoon. Just sitting out here chilling. And, yep, uh, I understand I've not been doing that many videos, but we're going to get back to production soon. Just been busy taking care of personal things, as I mentioned before. But, you know, a lot of you guys have been writing me about uh, Jason Genova's new uh, documentary. People want to ask what the great one thought about it. So, you know, I decided to, you know, pull up my britches, sit down on my couch and watch that 45 minutes of pure piss. And I have to say it was really pure piss. Nothing but a rehash and splattered copy of Jason Genovisms of him spouting about entrepreneurial stuff about bodybuilding and weightlifting, despite the fact of not showing any aptitude for any of these things, that being entrepreneurship, not being bodybuilding, and not much of anything else. But one thing I've actually noticed is that he's been getting a lot fatter lately. Big Lenny is up there saying that he's not been going into the gym, that he's been showing up at Burger King again. And, you know, that's just kind of disappointing, you know. Jason Genova, you know, has had a lot of people help him out over the years. He's had so many opportunities, and he is capable of it. He doesn't have bad genetics. I mean, he can throw a fucking vacuum pose. He has actually good genetics. And while we can all see what Jason Genova looks like visually with him being if he was ever shredded, the problem is, is that Genova can't see it for himself. And he gets wound up so much into thinking that he's a superstar that he's ending up being a stupor star. What does that mean? He is stupid to think that he is actually a superstar when he isn't. So he needs to do a 360 and come correct. Excuse me, not 360, but 180. And come correct with himself. He needs to do the opposite of what he has been doing. He needs to go back to the gym. And train and exercise. He needs to hook back up with Adam Harper. He was the only person that can get his blubbery ass back in shape. Now I remember when he was with Adam Harper. He was actually losing some real legitimate weight. I don't know what happened with that shit. But it seems as though when nobody isn't, you know, Genova seems to always get into shape. With anyone, whether it's Ian McCarthy, whether it's Adam Harper, whether it's P.J. Braun, whether it's Aaron Singerman, he always seems to uh, get in the shape. But when nobody ain't looking and nobody ain't paying attention, he's obviously stuffing his face at Burger King and other places there, not going to the gym. Genova, get your goddamn ass back in the fucking gym. All right. Cut this shit out, man. You know, a lot of people depending on you. A whole lot of people are depending on you and you are letting them down. And if I was down there in Delray Beach, me and you would have a little talk. You know, this type of behavior is unacceptable. People love you out there. You got a lot of fans. They're counting on you to get in the shape. That's all you got to do. It ain't that hard. Trust me. Just get in shape. You can't show up at stage looking like that. And if you even decide to get on stage, I think this will be it. There will be no more excuses for you there, boy. None. Period. So that's my opinion. As far as the documentary is concerned, it, it definitely was piss. Made me throw up in my mouth a couple times. That's the worst thing I ever seen. I can't believe I actually sat through that. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just a complete waste of time. I, I think I decreased my lifespan by about a couple of years by watching that shit. But that's my honest review of Jason Genova's documentary. But like I said, I'm highly disappointed at the fact that he has gotten extra chunky. Like a chunky Kit Kat bar. And he needs to go and get rid of the chunk and get shredded. 
He has all the tools. He has all the support. Like Nike, he must do it. That's all I got to say today, people. You like this channel? Well, goddammit, you love this channel. Like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel.